Today you're going to learn the difference between an equinox and a solstice. The first thing you need to know is that the Earth rotates or turns on its axis. It takes 24 hours to make one complete rotation. This is what gives us day and night on Earth. Since the Earth's axis is tilted, it means that we'll have a different number of hours of sunlight each day as the Earth revolves around the sun. In the winter, days are shorter. We have less hours of sunlight. That's why it's dark by 5 p.m. in the winter. In the summer, however, days are longer. We have more hours of daylight. That's why it gets dark around 8 p.m. Since the total hours of daylight change each day of the year, there must be a time when the amount of daylight equals the amount of nighttime. When this happens, that day is called an equinox. There are two days each year when we have an equinox. One happens in the autumn, one happens in the spring. So coming back to this idea, that winter months have less daylight hours and summer months have more daylight hours, it would make sense that there's a day each year when there is the smallest amount of daylight hours and a day with the largest amount of daylight hours. Those days are solstice days. A solstice day is caused when the sun reaches its greatest distance north of the equator, or when the sun reaches its farthest distance south of the equator. So, to review, an equinox is one of the two days each year when there's an equal amount of daylight and nighttime hours. A solstice, on the other hand, is when the sun reaches its greatest distance north or south of the equator. 